Hey guys, up here in beautiful Harbor Springs, Michigan, just north of our Traverse City region. We came up here for a little bit of sightseeing. We've got the lake in the background. We're set up right here in the shore and we thought, you know what? What a great spot to do this week's video fishing report. Plus, it's snowing here today and today is the last day of cold weather. Tomorrow, calling for 75 degrees and we have got a hot report to go with them hot temperatures. Five great reports, starting out with two spots in the Lake Erie Shores and Islands region, here on to Vermilion and Port Clinton. We swing around the corner, we're doing both Monroe and the Detroit River. Then we head up north and we chat with Captain Steve Hubert talking about Alpena and Sheboygan. Again, connected water, so we're trying to throw a few more reports at you. Then we go ahead and cross the bridge. Mike Cozier from Mike Cozier's Marquette Adventures is whacking fish up in the Upper Peninsula right now. It has been hot, hot, hot up there. And then we drop down. We're going to talk to you about Manistee to Ludington. Multiple different opportunities there. Native trout fishing going on. Inland Lake fishing going on, beach trolling going on. Five great reports here on the Hot Bite Fishing Report from Fisherman's Digest. So first report of the day is probably one of the hottest bites in the country right now, and that is the Lake Erie Shores and Islands region of Lake Erie. Now the walleye fishing has just been spectacular there. We start out with Captain Jason Haar giving us a Huron to Vermilion report and Captain Jason tells us that the fishing there has been outstanding two different sets of bandits. Now those sets, the critical sets are 35 to 50 back and 70 to 100 back. Those seem to be the two bite zones that are working best. Now the Huron dump was producing lots of fish. We've got a lot of early season spawners that are already done and on their move to the east. And that means the Huron dump going forward is gonna be a hot bite for the next month, possibly even two months. And then, and get a hold of Captain Jason if you're looking for that less pressured area. You know, Port Clinton and the Bass Islands can be a super pressured area when it comes to launches. If you're looking for that opportunity to get out without fighting the crowd, the great big Huron Municipal Marina, right there on the river dumping into the lake, huge, huge, beautiful facility. Captain, uh, not Captain Doug, Doug Steinwart from Huron City, and he takes care of the boat basin marina, and uh, he can tell you that that launch is one of the biggest and best and most beautiful launches anywhere in Ohio. You'll enjoy it. Now, if you are gonna launch in Port Clinton, Captain Kelly Schmidt from Irregardless Sport Fishing is your man if you're looking to get out. He tells us the bite is just stupid. There's no other way to describe it. It's just out of, out of sight crazy. Now, those speeds they've been catching them at are bumping up now slowly to one six to one eight. And the leads typically are gonna be in that 40 to 50 area or 75 to 90 area. Those seem to be the two bite zones. Guys are still fishing bandits. A little, maybe a month from now, Captain Kelly will probably flip over to Spoons and Yozuri's, but right now bandits still seem to be the ticket. You're matching the color with the day, but all around the Bass Islands, meaning green, rattlesnake, north bass, on in between the islands to Kelly's, all of it's got tons of fish in it. You almost can't miss. If you choose good weather days and you put your baits in those bite zones, you're gonna have success there in the Lake Erie Shores and Islands region. Check out the full line of Polar Craft boats at PolarCraft.com. So hey guys, it's snowing like we said right here up in Harbor Springs, but it is going to be hot tomorrow and on Wednesday when you see this report for Huron, not Huron, what am I talking about? We're talking about Monroe and the Detroit River. Well, Captain Nick Dode from 
real live action sport fishing sent in an awesome re report. We had Petro Nick, an Angler Quest owner friend of mine, also sent in some great information. And what they tell us is going on right now is ridiculous shallow water fishing in the greater Monroe area. And that's basically right out of Sterling State Park, Bulls Harbor, Breast Bay, Luna Pier, you name it, there's fish all over the place. Most of the fish are typically setting up in depths, oh, maybe 12 to 20 feet seems to be the best spot for just putting fish in the boat fast. Now, it doesn't mean there isn't fish in other locations, obviously, but that's been the hot one. High baits as well. We're talking leads out 20 to 35 feet. Speeds 1.5 to 1.8 miles an hour. Captain Nick, Petro, Petro Nick, you name it. Anybody talking to me about right now, Lee Gould, telling me that Monroe is where it's at. So if you're gonna go out there, Sterling State Park is a great option. Uh, Bulls Harbor uh, area in general is gonna be hot. Now we'll slide up to the Detroit River. Captain Brian Beist and Captain Eric Long are both fishing right now the Detroit River. And the one factor that we're hearing from all of them is the super clean water that they're dealing with. Obviously with Canada shut down, for us being able to go over there and fish. And guys, don't go over there and fish. I'm sure all you internet guys have noticed, guys are getting $880 fines. That's a minimum you're gonna come back to America. If you take your boat over into Canada, every guy in that boat's gonna walk away with an $880 fine. Don't go, it ain't worth it, they're watching. But on the US side, lots of fish to be had, as you can see by the pictures going through. A lot of guys are jigging shallow, but also as the sun comes up, they're starting to learn from that professional walleye series and they're putting their Wyandotte worms on lighter jigs or their three and three quarter inch Motor City minnows. They're still using all the same colors, but what they're doing is maybe putting it on a three eighths ounce jig and casting two spots that aren't too snaggy and working those areas in a popping motion. And that change of presentation that was introduced by those guys on the professional walleye series has got a lot of guys trying a new form of fishing there on the Detroit River with tons of success. Brian Bice said that he was casting four inch paddle tails and it was working great as, as well. So there's a lot of different things to try and that's one of the cool things about professional tournaments. They do teach you to expand your fishing presentations and give you different ways of looking at fisheries you may have treated in the past. So Monroe and the Detroit River lights out for at least another two weeks on the Detroit River before the white bass come in. But on Monroe, that's six more weeks of this stuff. So we'll be back to talk to you about Monroe just a little bit later. You always get the best at Bex Trailer Superstore, the nation's largest trailer dealer. With over 1,500 trailers on 45 acres, you won't find a better selection anywhere. Whether you're looking for an open or enclosed trailer for work or play, you'll find the perfect trailer at Bex. We have flexible financing options through several national and local lenders to offer the most competitive rates and payments from only $69 per month with approved credit. For the best selection of quality trailers at unbeatable prices, call 888-SAVE-BEX or visit BexTrailerStore.com. So guys, the fishing up north, the northeast corner, a lot of people, Heidi DeWalt from uh, my friend from the sunrise side of the state always refers to it that way as the sunrise side. You know what, the fishing from Alpena all the way to the Straits basically, we'll talk about Alpena, Sheboygan and the Straits next weekend, but it has been stupid good for lake trout right now. Just unbelievable. Captain Steve Hubert from Chum Bucket Charters is working that piece of water from Alpena's Thunder Bay around into Rockport all the way up to Presque Isle. He says almost no matter where he goes in 40 to 70 feet of water, he is banging fish. And he's catching them on Dreamweaver Super Slims, combinations of coppers from 75, 125, and 200, and then also high and low divers running in that 30 to 40 down range. And he even drags a single downrigger around and he puts a big number 12 spin doctor, a big old spin doctor on it, and then pulls a spin and glow behind it. And he says that a tractor rigger, that center rigger that he pulls around basically just to get fish into his spread has been putting tons of fish in the boat. Now, the fishing out on Spectacle, Reynolds Reef and even the south side of Boblo, Boys Blank, we call it Boblo Island up there. 
all of that out of Sheboygan all the way down to Thunder Bay is just silly with fish right now. Shallow so you don't have to run miles and miles and miles of water to find fish. But get up there to that sunrise side and enjoy the awesome fishing that's going right now in Alpena and Sheboygan. Wyandotte Lure manufactures soft plastic baits and fishing tackle right here in the Detroit area. Our famous original Wyandotte Worm and the new Motor City Minnow are made with our own special blend of material that is soft enough for a fish to bite, but durable enough to use all day. Our baits are available in over 30 different fish catching colors. Just another reason why Wyandotte Lure is known as the king of the river. Go to WyandotteLure.com or ask for them at your local bait and tackle store. So hey, we're gonna jump over across the state to the Manistee to Ludington area, and we've got a couple of great reports. Captain John Gooker is a river guide over on the Manistee, Greater Big and Little Manistee Rivers, and even dabbles on the Pier Marquette a little bit, the Pine River a little bit as well. John tells us that with this warming weather, we're gonna see an explosion of awesome native species trout. The trout are gonna be out of sight for the next month and so are the pre-spawn smallmouth bass on rivers. Now this is a bite that if you've never fished a river in May, you gotta get out with Captain John Gooker. He is a master at getting people on fish. You can fish traditional fly fishing. You can fit, cast spinners, small little spinners. Uh, even jerk baits work good this time of the year for those pre-spawn smallmouth. Now those little spinners produce a lot of really, really good native species, whether it's browns or rainbows or brook trout. They're all available in those systems right around the Manistee and Ludington area, and Captain John is the master of that. Now, we've also got some awesome beach trolling going on. Captain Alex Bialik from Fireplug Sport Fishing there out of Manistee tells me that from basically the south of the Ludington Harbor all the way north to Onekama, the, the shorelines are just covered with lake trout. And they're in that 30 to 50 foot of water zone. So beach trolling tactics are gonna work one, two, three colors of lead. Dreamweaver super slims in bright orange colors. Uh, just basically bright, but if you have orange on, it's really beneficial. Let me tell you what, when you beach troll, you can also pull thin fins or number 11 jointed rapalas. Those are working good on your flat lines, but the whole shoreline from south of Ludding to north, all the way to north of Manistee, awesome fishing right now. And in a couple weeks, we'll come back to you and talk about Hamlin Lake with, Cap with not Captain, but Randy Dureshke from Captain Chuck's too, right there in Ludington. He loves that lake. He's gonna be out crappie and bluegill fishing soon. He told me, John, get ready for a great report from Hamlin. But right now, streams for native species trout, end of the year steelhead, and beach trolling from Manistee South happening right now. to Nelson Speed Shop for your outdoor fun adventure? Michigan's Pontoon Superstore. Motorcycles both street and dirt. Outboard and inboards, UTVs, ATVs, fishing boats, golf carts, trailers, generators, lawnmowers both zero turn and push behind from over 36 name brand manufacturers and a top-notch service department with a state-of-the-art service facility. Why would you go anywhere else? For any kind of outdoor fun and adventure, we got it, so come get it. Your summer fun begins at Lakeside Motorsports and Nelson Speed Shop. So last stop of the day, we've talked a lot about Marquette County over the last year. Well, we're gonna continue to talk about it because it offers such unbelievable fishing. Right now, Mike Coziera from Marquette Adventure says that the Inland Lake stream fishing is lights out in the central upper peninsula. Both sides, not only the Lake Michigan tributaries, but the Superior tributaries. And that can only mean one thing, awesome native species trout being caught in sizes that most of you are not used to. As you see these pictures going across the screen, you'll get what I'm talking about. Mike and his small group of guides is locked on to this bite and they can help you experience some unbelievable colder weather fishing, but still early spring on these tributaries. Beads, spawn, floating spawn under bobbers, floating beads under bobbers, 
tumbling spawn through the holes, you name it, it's all working right now. You're seeing the fish, they're silly fish. And what that can also mean right now is that the shoreline is about to get going big time. And that shoreline bite for the month of May, whether it's with Mike or Captain Magdalano, Pat Magdalano I heard is just putting his boats in this week, he'll be ready to go. And that means you can probably get shoreline trolling. I don't know if Pat goes out to the rock or not, but I know I saw some guys catch some really big Lakers out on the rock. Marquette County is a bucket list county. It's kind of like the Western UP. It is so under, under promoted and overlooked, but it has such great fishing going on. So check into the fishing report every other week. We'll have lots of reports coming to you from Marquette County, but whether it's silver fishing, inland lake fishing, or tributary stream fishing, Marquette County is a great place to go. And right now it's happening in the month of May there at Marquette Adventures. Hey guys, awesome report, it just keeps snowing, but we did this on purpose because this is it. Yeah, it's the last cold weather of the season hopefully, and we wanted to set up outside because tomorrow I live in Grand Rapids and it's gonna be 75 to 80. And so up here in the Traverse City region, this is the last gas. We'll be joining you from Greg Alsip's place at Leland on Narrows for a great Traverse City report. We got Captain Bob Hines, gonna have an awesome report for us. We're gonna be out on the water with Bob here shortly. We're gonna be out on the water with Greg Alsip shortly as well. Later this week, we're out with Captain Steve Hubert up there in that Sheboygan region that we already talked about on today's show. And hopefully, Editor Brett will have a quick on the water live report for you sometime next week of our exploits that we do this week. But we've got the Polar Craft and the Angler Quest getting rigged this week. We'll be on the water heavy getting getting all these awesome reports and all this great video to keep you informed of what's happening here in snowy but about to be warm Michigan. We'll see you next week. <laughs>